my first cinematic crush. Hmm. But it. this wasn't someone on, in movies. So. Fine, you can pick anyone. <laughs> my first cinematic crush was Pacey from Dawson's Creek. <laughs> well, I was like a very young teenager. I didn't have any posters because like my parents were like not down with that type of thing. I was like, no, no, I'm just interested in books. <laughs> and Dawson's Creek. <laughs> and Dawson's Creek. Sex scenes are not sexy. I got to keep my clothes on mostly <laughs> until I had a completely ridiculous sex scene with Steve Zahn. Shout out to Steve Zahn for this um, actually British show they were remaking in America called Mad Dogs. I got to play this mad West Indian woman, which was like, again, check, check. <laughs> it's like me. I feel like the, the sex scene in Queen and Slim is more like, you know, passionate love making. It's really beautiful and I think it's like this gorgeous expression of like black love and black sensuality without making it into this, you know, like trope or this weird thing that sometimes people do. It's no. not hypersexual like people often do with black bodies. It is in a car. It was definitely interesting to choreograph a sex scene in a car, <laughs> you know? And Melina Matsukas, our director, she's like, okay, it's awkward if you put your leg there. Maybe we need to try it. She was like really hands on with helping me <laughs> position myself so it would look amazing. And then when I watched the movie, I was like, yeah that woman. My first real kiss was in a closet because I was playing one of those games, like <laughs> seven minutes in heaven or something stupid like that. I knew the person before and I had a big crush on him. I think I was like 13, okay? It was like, that's when I had my first kiss. I was not the person that people wanted to make out with for some weird reason, right. but everyone's eating their heart out now. <laughs> my parents were alarmed uh -huh. when I told them I wanted to move to LA. When I moved to LA, I didn't know what I was gonna do. I just was like, I'm quitting my job, but I'm moving to LA, and they were like, what? I didn't come here wanting to be an actress. I came here with the idea that I would just see what happened. I started with modeling and, and almost immediately as a model, like I made very little money print modeling and a lot of money doing television commercials. I sold the hell out of some Ross dresses. <laughs> You're welcome, Ross. Yes, I've done a lot of Halloween since I've been here in America. <laughs> Slutterween! <laughs> now we're in an age of being more like body positive uh -huh. and allowing women to like make choices with their own bodies. So. I think now you can just be slutty looking if you want to. Uh -huh. But you know, back then it was like Halloween is when you do it. Exactly. And I went as like really slutty Maleficent. I had the horns and like this wig. I was doing like Maleficent with her hair down situation. My first red carpet, was it? I think it was the BT Awards. I wore an Attico dress and uh -huh. it was like pink and shimmery and kind of sheer. And it was amazing because I was presenting on stage and when I went on stage, you could like see through it with Ooh. And I was like, yes, I feel sexy. The first really useful piece of advice I was given was that the, the target is always going to move. Mm -hmm. The finish line always moves. So you have to learn to be happy with where you are right now. 